In July of 2011, the world turned its eyes to the Horn of Africa, where what was termed as the worst humanitarian disaster in 60 years was unfolding. 10 million people were at risk of starvation and death. The analysis that has been undertaken confirms that a state of famine exists in parts of Bakol and lower Shabali regions of southern Somalia. Over 1,000 men, women and children were reported to be walking across the various regions of Somalia each day, headed towards the Dab refugee camp in Kenya. There are more than 370,000 people here now. It was also reported that out of these people, only 60% made it. The of famine in Somalia is meant to act as a wake-up call. We knew we had no choice, we had to do something. Between us, we pulled $2,000. We bought as much as we could of what we thought was essential. We took off from school and we left our jobs. We headed for Somalia. In Dublin, we sit down with the local authorities, militia, NGOs, youth groups, religious leaders, and members of the community. We found that many of their concerns and suspicions of foreign journalists and NGOs were valid. The police cannot safeguard your security. It is the community who can give you security. Work with the community. We have seen uh, last morning for WFP, guys are from WFP. Okay, I don't know why. If I ask them, why are you not supporting these people? They will not give you a straight answer. Okay, if I ask MSF, why are you not supporting these people? They will not give you a straight answer. Okay, they said, okay, I will do, I will do, I will do. And still we are not getting anything. But people on the, on the way die. People are dying on the way. People are dying here. People are dying between Liboya and the Dadaab. Although we made more trips to Dadaab, Div, Therefore and Liboya, we soon found that where we were needed most was in the motherland, in Somalia. Doble was the gates to Somalia. So far, we made three trips to Doble. We have delivered relief supplies such as tarpaulins and food and water for 3,000 people. Our current main project is the establishment of health and transit center in Doble. This transit center will support the internally displaced people of Somalia during their stay in Doble. It will give them a chance to decide whether they really want to cross over and become refugees in Kenya or return home. At the transit center, the refugees shall receive medical services, water, sanitation and hygiene services, a feeding center, temporary housing facilities and education services. We will partner with local NGOs such as SWAMO and Hornlink, which have both the logistical mechanism and the physical infrastructure on the ground already. Still, we shall continue doing what we do best, telling stories through video. Stories like that of Felis, a refugee slowly being eaten by a massive tumor on her chest. Of the talented refugee of Hagadera, whose musical abilities go to waste in the camps. <laughs> Of Khadija, who had to feed urine to her children so that they could survive. We are currently working on a several documentaries, including the dub Get There or Die Trying. Whose trailer came out of the first trip and captured the attention of the world. We have a vision of United Diaspora, of a United Somalia, of a kid from Kismayo having the same access to media information as a kid in Melbourne, Toronto, and London. Our mission is to achieve this vision, and with your help one day, we will.